fitter, happier, more productive, comfortable, not drinking too much, regular exercise at the gym, three days a week, getting on better with your associate employee contemporaries, at ease, eating well, no more microwave dinners and saturated fats, a patient better driver, a safer car, baby smiling in backseat, sleeping well, no bad dreams, no paranoia, careful to all animals, never washing spiders done a plug hole, keep in contact with old friends, enjoy a drink now and then. Hey man, it's been a while, you alright? Yeah, yeah man, I'm good. Uh, just, uh, just working, uh, how's your semester going? It's pretty intense compared to last semester. Got all these things with Alan and all that, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting pretty brutal for me too. My last two sets that I've done, I've just bombed completely. Yeah. Owen told me what happened, I hope you're alright. Uh, I'm fine, man, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> this guy. Trouble in paradise, huh? Our room is fucking Chernobyl. Our cleaning lady, not just a note the other week, basically said she's not our cleaning lady anymore. And you're blaming me, the guy who puts his shoes in the freezer. It's for the odor. At least I don't leave my boxers on the table. Do you have any idea what I have to put up with living with a slob like you, man? Ever since you got that text. You didn't even come out of your room, man. What's the matter? And I can't take that fucking smell. Can't you mourn while you take out the garbage? Stay away from my fucking room. Whoa, do I need to be your marriage counselor here, guys? I told you to sack up, get on Tinder, and spread the seed. Like my seed sacks don't belong on social media. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not a farmer, man. Man, they were together for seven years. I'm aware. She texted me and wants to be in an open relationship. I know, I was the one who found the fetal position. Where's the love, man? You're his roommate, you're supposed to be his best friend. Don't put this on me. Look, I've had my heart ripped out by someone before, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. And you haven't even been in a relationship before. I'm not one that's lasted longer than two days. Because I'm smart. Women are heartless creatures. Who scarred you in? My mother! Besides, they fuck other people. Long distance relationships always end one way. Look, I don't need to hear your jaded views on relationships. I just need to know that you're looking out for Ben, okay? Oh, I'm giving him love. The love he needs. Top love. Besides, can't make him see the light. I'm gonna figure this shit out on his own. Well, maybe he doesn't, man. What the fuck is in the shower, man? Riley, wake up. Wake up. Come see the stuff that's in Ben's room, man. Oh, just fucking come in here. It's a goddamn mess. That's all that's wrong with it. You said there's fucking Satan shit and lights flashing, but there's fucking clothes on the ground and it stinks. Why the hell did you wake me up for that? Man, I don't know why the fuck you woke me up for that. It was literally just a messy room. It did not look like that when I was in there. It looked like the inside of Mel Gibson's mind. 
Except it didn't have uh, any Nazi memory. I know what I fucking saw! Man, it looked like any other college room. It had beer cans on the ground, uh, shoes on the ground, throws clothes everywhere. It was The only difference was it smelled like old pancake batter or something. Like the inside of Donald Trump's nose. <laughs> like subway you left in your car for three days. Like a wet baby. What the fuck are we talking about? We're supposed to be talking about Ben. You know what? I think you're just finally feeling what I've been feeling the whole time. That Ben just needs a friend. I was about to call his parents. Man, he needs a friend. That wouldn't help him. Fuck, man. I'm not equipped for all this tender care and love. You know, to an extent, everyone's feeling what he's feeling. You know, it's cold out, and the professor isn't making us, like, hop through hoops. Don't fucking dance! Remember at the beginning of the semester? Everyone was just happy, we chilled out, just told jokes. Now I pass people in the hall and it's like they don't even see me. They, they, they got that, that thousand yard stare, just... I, I know what you mean. I mean, I fist bump Angus in the hall and I see Avery for his morning ritual of chicken fingers, sour cream, and raisins, but that's about it. You know what we need? You know, middle-aged men, they have, uh... Football nights, or, or poker nights, or fantasy football drafts. You know, a time and a place where men can be men among men. Amen. Fuck off. We need to actually set this up, though. Pizza and playoff football. And ben can eat, and then he can finally vent about his feelings. A few beers, a few loves. But we need to make sure we set up the right atmosphere. You know, where he can like, make fun of himself. Yeah, get the comedians in the room and uh, no one is spared. Did Owen tell you why we're here? The t text was pretty vague. All I know is that we've been summoned. Maybe he's expecting. Maybe he's gonna start a cult. Maybe he has herpes. Maybe he's gonna teach us how to save a bunch of money on car insurance. Yeah, that's it. For sure. How's your section going? I saw you guys in Birmingham staring each other down in pairs. It seemed pretty intense. Not too good. Robin wanted us to stare directly into other people's eyes and connect with them. And I'm just not into that. At all. Sounds primal. And painful. Not as painful as my last few sets, though. I've been questioning my career choice. Yeah, I've been thinking and I've just decided that I want to just get high and play 2K all day. I feel ya. I've been uh, arguing with myself a lot. Something nerf herders. Yeah, do you need us to like, help you bury Ben's body? Because I've already been written up three times, so count me out. Yeah, I, uh, I killed Ben. His body's decomposing as we speak. It's about damn time. I was starting to think you were all barking, no bite. All I know is I went into his room and saw some shit that nobody should ever fucking see. So many questions. <laughs> I actually like cleaning. I find it really relaxing, and I like knowing where all my stuff is. Yeah, but that's because your mom is Jeffrey Dahmer, and yeah, your dad's Jeffrey Dahmer too. But yeah, it's good catching up with you two. I mean, I thought Angus dropped out after he missed all that class. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't know if I was crazy or they were crazy, but they were crazy. Yeah, man. People trip me up. But, uh, you know, people need people. You know, us dudes, we need a place where men can be men among men. I wouldn't go saying that too much. Uh, boys, it's good to see you all in one place. A place where men can be men among men. Wait, you got to rehearse that? <laughs> no. And, and Ben's slipping, so we, we need to keep him honest, alright? Should we just, like, start a crusade to get him laid? You can't put a band-aid on a flesh wound. Uh, I thought that would have been the solution. I mean, there was multiple solutions that were made, but, uh, no, we... Guys, we need to just, like, pop some holes in his logic, you know? <sighs> okay, he's outside, so you guys just move everything around, get it ready, and then when he comes in, just be gentle. Okay? I think this could go either way. Why are you guys all staring at me? Why are you all so close? Why don't you just have something to eat and calm down? 
Okay, Krispy Kreme, get your crumbs away from me. And uh, how about, how about you tell me why I'm here? Did, did you, did, is it about the fucking room? Again? Thought we were over that. We are here to talk about your feelings. I'm not feeling that. Man, when I saw you the other day in the lobby, it looked like you saw a ghost or something. Your skin was crawling and... Yeah, and you were screaming about seed sacks and social media, and you know, ravished a chair. I was screaming at you. Okay, I get it. I've been a bit of a dick, but I mean, I haven't been nice about your relationship, but I don't, I don't trust men, I don't trust women. I was rage religious, so I'm a little sick of all this hypocrisy on your part. Owen, let's talk about your childhood. Go fuck yourself, skin tick. See, man, we're not just getting it up on you. This whole setup feels like I'm drowning in a pit of puppies <laughs> and blowing the Dean for bonus points. Man, we're all training for, like, the, the least secure job in the fucking universe. But the difference is this, that you just got out of a seven-year-long relationship. Seven years. Why don't you just get angry and bitch about it? Like, you're with friends. Okay, you guys want to hear me go? Okay. Well, I hate everything. I hate residents. I hate the elevator. I hate meeting people in the elevator. Uh, I hate the fucking Dean. Uh, I hate, I hate Erica. I hate the seven years I spent with her. And I hate Owen and his fucking crumbs. Don't hold anything back. I hate you. You don't mean that. No, man, sometimes you drive me insane. You drive me insane too, but you're my boy. I guess. See, man, we're all dealing with the same shit, all right? I know I wake up every day doubting myself, my set. It's just hard to get up on stage. Bombing is a rite of passage, man. You gotta take your licks. I guess so. But I'm fire with you guys. I don't know about myself. Yeah, me too, man. Well, what's stopping us from shooting our own shit and putting it on YouTube? Uh, initiative, fear, and doubt. Man, we can conquer that bullshit. Just make each other laugh and we can have some fucking fun. Yeah, I'm a comedy snob and I'm sure the standards are very high in this room. I think you're very high in this room. And me too. So it's settled? We'll shoot our own shit? Alright, yeah. Let's, uh, let's start with hanging long-term relationships. Yeah, Ben? Let me roll up my sleeves. Oh.